Well, y'all, after two years, Billy Bat has finally been dethroned. Hello all of my otaku friends, my name is Prof Otaku, and welcome back to my channel. For this April manga reading log, I read over 40 volumes. I read some of the best stuff I've ever read, and some of the worst stuff I've ever read. Can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. <laughs> So before we get started today, just in typical Oscars fashion. No, 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 we're not slapping anybody today. But we are going to do a rest in peace memoriam to some of the series that I read this month that just did not make the cut. If you'd like to see some of that manga that I did on haul, check out the recent video that I just did. It's a fun video, just <laughs> why I got rid of these series, but I did read We Never Learn Volume 15, Comey Can't Communicate Volume 18, and Burn the Witch Volume 1. So I want to start off with some of the unique stuff that I read this month. If you'd like to jump around, I leave timestamps down in the description so you can go to your favorite series. But first up is four volumes by Square Enix, believe it or not. The Apothecary Diaries, Volumes 1 to 4. Now, this manga has been kind of hitting Instagram by storm a couple months ago, and I was like, you know, I just, it didn't seem like something up my alley, but this is super, super unique. I love the main character. It's basically about this girl who is a medicine woman, and she is the poison taste tester for the Imperial Court, but it's also a mystery thing. So she is going in, solving these mysteries of why these people are getting poisoned and the political hijinks of the Imperial Court. It really is quite interesting. If I can give an analogy, it's basically like a Chinese version of Sherlock Holmes or Moriarty the Patriot, but I really just think it's done so, so much better. I love the art. I love the chibi style drawings. I love the pacing of this manga. It continues to be fresh, different scenarios, fast paced, and the mystery is very hard to solve. And the twists and turns are really, really fascinating. So yeah, I highly recommend this manga only four volumes out not a big investment but you definitely will not regret it so next up is a manga franchise i have now finished all of the physical english releases of and it breaks my heart because honestly it's one of my top three favorite franchises of all time in manga and that is gto 14 days in shonen i read the last three volumes seven eight and nine the biggest problem with this manga was the pacing at the end. It was super, super rushed. But if we're comparing GTO the early years to GTO to GTO 14 Days in Shonen, 14 Days in Shonen is very similar to the hijinks and just kind of the feel of the normal GTO series. So I like the humor in it. The life lessons are really, really deep. The art is great. And Onizuka as a main character is the best protagonist I have ever read in manga so yeah you're probably not going to be able to find these on the market but you know what if you are ever interested in reading gto i highly recommend you try to read some scans of it it's a good life lesson manga and you're going to learn something from it next up is volume two of the country without humans this manga is great i have spoken high praises of it in many videos in the past i recommend you check this out because this manga is what i'm trying to get on people's radar it's a perfect encapsulation of slice of life post-apocalyptic sci-fi with this dramatic thriller lore what is going on why does this girl live in a society where there's no humans and robots have overtaken the world what's going on with all these different groups and why is she being hunted down it's so interesting super unique the artwork is so different and i absolutely love it so highly recommend only two volumes out right now not a big investment Next up is a manga that I picked up from Suki Notes channel, and that is Hello Melancholic Volume 1, 
three volume series about this girl who's a loner girl who plays trombone this girl tries to get her to join this music club band and it's their journey together in three volumes about making music together um is this any good you know honestly it was just mid-tier cookie cutter loner girl super popular girl you know nothing special nothing gripped the heartstrings i only bought it because i'm a band guy so like this is just right up my alley but i'm not gonna pick up any more of these unless there's a big sale going on i'll probably just wait till these are all finished so if you want a yuri series this isn't the highest recommendation but if you like music give this one a shot Next up is a light novel, and believe it or not, since recording this video for April, I have been on a light novel binge in May. I mean, I have just been reading, reading light novels nonstop, and that is 86 Volume 4. This manga, <laughs> not manga, light novel, this light novel is fantastic. I think what just makes this manga <laughs> light novel, <laughs> what makes this light novel so good is that even with the light novel setup, which is basically like short scenes, you know, development at the beginning, and then the end is like the big event. That's what I've kind of noticed with light novel progression. Even with these beginning development chapters, which for a lot of people could be really boring, it just enhances the world and grips you in with the character development, character psychology, and just craziness of the world. It's so, so interesting. And the battles in this are just absolutely vivid and disgusting and crazy. And I can just picture it in my head so vividly it's really, really cool. Highly recommend 86. If you are looking for a light novel, it is pretty word heavy in terms of just vocabulary and sentence phrasing. So you got to pay attention. But if you do, you are going to be rewarded with a fantastic story. Next up is Pompo the Cinephile Volumes 1 and Volume 2. So this manga also has an anime film that just got released to very high acclaim. Is the manga very good? Honestly, I think I would just rather you stick with the animated version because this is pretty good. I mean, it's basically about this girl who has an assistant who loves movies and then she's the famous movie producer and she gives her assistant a chance to direct his first movie. So it's his journey doing that. You know, the manga was pretty good I don't think the artworks anything special I don't think the story is anything special so I think it being animated with the you know 21st century animation beautifulness this can make something really really special but I'm probably just gonna sell these off it was a good read don't get me wrong I gave it like a seven and a half out of ten but it's not anything I'm gonna keep in my collection it's a good journey of just if you're going for your passions and your goals it's kind of the harsh reality and the hard truth about staying true true to yourself in this journey and trying to grasp your goals. Now next up is a manga that I'm not on the fence about and that is Blue Period Volume 6. This just finished the exam arc and oh my gosh this manga is going to be it's already in my top 20. It's probably my top 15 and when this finishes man if it continues in this trajectory it's going to be a top 10 manga. I just think that this is one of the most well-constructed stories that I've ever read in manga in terms of character development, educational experience, and also just the anxiety and the tension that comes with the storytelling and like creating something out of nothing. It's really, really great. I highly recommend you check this out. If you've watched the anime, you know, give the manga a shot. I heard the manga is much better in that regard. Okay, next up is a mid-tier ROM com this is cheeky brat volume 2 there are 23 volumes out in total i'm very much on the fence about this this is very much a cookie cutter rom-com sunduri type senpai freshman delinquent freshman boy who's very aggressive towards her but even though she's a sunduri she's super soft-hearted super cookie cutter it's a basketball manga so that's pretty interesting this volume actually brings in a new side character so now we have a love triangle and honestly i I'm not that fascinated with the side character. I don't really care about him. I think he's just written kind of poorly. So, you know, this manga 
I I'm very much on the fence about, but I enjoy the artwork. You know, I've been in a mood for a Sunduri rom-com, so I guess that's why I'm going to keep reading it. I'm going to give it one more volume, but, you know, this is just something kind of standard. So if you're looking for a nice, fun high school romance, then maybe check this one out. Last up in the stack of unique manga is the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting Volume 2. If you like Way of the House Husband or you think Way of the House Husband has become monotonous, I highly recommend you check this one out. This has the very similar vibes to Way of the House Husband, except that there's an overarching storyline. I love the characters a lot more than Way of the House Husband, and I think that this is just a lot more funny and a lot more wholesome. There's basically like, just think of like a painter in like the palette of colors. There's just more colors in this manga compared to Way of the House Husband. And I like that there's a direction in this manga that will make me continue to pick it up to see how the story progresses. So yeah, Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting, highly recommend you check this one out. All right, now we're on to the normie manga. <laughs> Don't crucify me. All right, we have Kaiju number eight, volume two. You know what this reminds me? up it gives me a vibe of like one piece in black clover with like the protagonist you know the underwhelming one who kind of rises through the ranks and then you've got the crew of people which have very distinct personalities and they all work together to solve a common goal that's the vibe i get i think this does it very very well i like the kaiju i like the power system i like the main character and overall it's just good shonen fun the pacing is great and, you know, I'm not a big fan of Shonen as they continue to read manga, but this is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, Kaiju number eight. I'm definitely going to keep picking this up. Next up is one of my top five characters in all of manga, Yotsuba, Yotsuba 10 and Yotsuba 11. Yotsuba is the main character is great and is the only thing kind of keeping this manga just really at that top pinnacle of manga tierness because if she's not there this manga is not nearly as good as it is she is so wholesome she's hilarious this is just the most relaxing read if you just need to chill out and just relax and this slice of life is done so well with the different storylines but also with the overall group coming together and helping yotsuba through these hilarious issues it's a lot of fun this is a cherished manga in my collection and i highly recommend you check it out next up is fire force volume 26 this volume was nothing special this is basically part of this one long final arc and this volume was about a side battle was the side battle that interesting yeah it was pretty cool but did i care about it no not necessarily i just really want to read to the end next up is sakamoto days volume one new shonen jump manga everybody's picking it up and for good reason i really really enjoyed it i'm not taking this too seriously in terms of shonen i'm just kind of laying back and saying this is just good old beat em up fun hilarious comedy this guy is just a fat <laughs> shopkeeper who's a former assassin and he's training this guy who's his now assistant and it's just good old-fashioned shown to beat him up fun so yeah i don't think we should analyze this any further it's pretty good pick it up next up is a manga that i am on the fence about and that is my love mix up volume three now this is a bl manga and i had said after the second volume that there needs to be some character and relationship progression because honestly after two volumes it was already pretty stale and there was a big thing in this volume so yes we have continued to progress i will pick up volume four to see what happens but honestly why i'm kind of on the fence about this is because i am not invested in the characters at all whatsoever we have four characters in this manga we have the two main character boys and then we have one of the boys friends who's another boy and then a fourth girl and honestly i could care less about the third and the fourth character they're just annoying in my eyes i just don't see them doing anything for the main relationship so i don't want to read about them so i'm going to give it one more but i can see this one definitely going by the wayside Next up is a manga that has rejuvenated my love for this series, and that is Kaguya-sama Love is War Volume 22. This manga volume was fantastic. And what I liked about it is that the mangaka actually said that from here on out, from this volume, as we can see in this volume, 
and for the rest of the series this is going to be about the main relationship and that's what it should be because the last arc was not about the main relationship and it really kind of took a downhill slide in my opinion we had some big big relationship things happen in this manga including some of the hijinks of high school romance and sexual tension so that's always very interesting and weird to read but it was very well done i, I really really enjoyed this manga volume and honestly this has rejuvenated my love for the series which i'm so so glad Next up is Toilet Bound Hanako-kun Volume 13. I don't know when this one ends, but we are in the last school mystery. There's seven school mysteries and we're on the last one, number six. So I don't know where this story is gonna go from here after this arc is done. But man, the two page spreads in this manga are absolutely nuts. Now, I like the direction of this new arc. I like how things are starting to develop. We're actually bringing back some traits from older arcs, which is really, really interesting. Thing. And I like that we're seeing Hanako Kun kind of this darker side of him. So I just can't wait to see where this goes. Next up is Laid Back Camp Volume 11. <laughs> this manga is great. I've talked about Laid Back Camp on this channel before, but this finishes an arc actually. You've got the main crew, you've got the main two characters, and then one of the main character's side friends from back in her hometown. They are going on a trip. They're going over a bunch of suspension bridges. It's really beautiful and breathtaking, even in a manga format. Highly recommend you check this out. This is honestly one of the most interesting manga on my shelf, and it's really, really really fun to read. All right, two more manga here. We have Spy Family Volume 10. Spy Family continues to be great as always. Not really, because I really had some bad things to say about Chainsaw Man in the beginning, but I get it now. Volume 9, 10, and probably Volume 11, man, there has been so many great twists and turns. Not twists and turns where I go, okay, this is stupid, but like twists and turns where I go, wow, I didn't see that coming. This is really, really sick. So yeah, I'm on the Chainsaw Man hype train now. I cannot wait for the last volume. Last up in the physicals is Spy Family Volume 7. I, I don't need to talk about Spy Family. Everybody knows that this manga is great. The artwork is great. The characters are great. The anime adaptation has been A plus so far. I can see it being one of my top 10 anime of all time. I love Spy Family. I will be on the Anya train till I die. Okay, last up is a manga I read 15 volumes of this past April, and that is Space Brothers. I did a first impressions review on the first three volumes of Space Brothers. I recommend you check that out. I'll put a little card up here. But what I will say from that review, what has changed is with one of the cons I said was the art. The art has completely changed. The art is top notch. I'm actually getting an art book from Japan of the series it is so so great but what this manga has done for me that no other manga has done as of late is make my heart race every arc every mini arc i'm just so fascinated to see what happens i just keep scrolling and when a manga makes me feel like that i mean it's easily going to be in my top five the characters i am so invested in their goals in their life story and what is going to happen to them i just can't speak highly enough of it please please read space brothers read it on the country roll app read the first volume read the first chapter and you'll understand what i'm saying because it's honestly a literature masterpiece with the way the story has been constructed just so good and that is it for my manga reading log for the month of April. It's been a great month. I'm reading some bangers right now. Cannot wait to show you guys what I read next month. As always, if you like the video, please hit that like button, tap the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when more of my videos come out. And I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.